Welcome to Ninox Essential Series. In this video, we will learn about the SELECT statement. Databases store data for later retrieval. The SELECT statement or SELECT query is used to fetch the data from the database. We have prepared a SELECT statement table and a few examples to show you how to use SELECT. By the end of the tutorial, you will be one step further in efficiently automating your business processes. Let us start. In our SELECT statement table, we have six records with four columns. When you want to use data, you rarely want to use all of the data from one table. The purpose of SELECT is to retrieve from the database table one or more rows that match the given criteria. Let us check how this looks in action. First, we need to get familiar with the SELECT statement syntax. SELECT is a keyword that lets the database know that you want to retrieve data. Then, we are going to choose the table that you want to use as a source of data. In our case, the table is called SELECT STATEMENT. And we will specify the field that we want to include from the data source. In our case, we want to retrieve items. So we will simply add items. Great! Now we have in our syntax select the list of all the items from our table view. So here we also have choice field and the price. Let's continue. Optionally, we can specify criteria to limit the records that the query retrieves. We can do that with WHERE condition, where it's used to specify criteria in the result returned from the query. Now I want to retrieve only the food items. So food items have ID 1 in my choice field. So this is how the line of code would look. I will select the table where choice is equal to 1. And this is the condition for the items I want to retrieve, them to be choice 1, what is food. We got apples, banana, bread and pasta. Cool. So, we can see query is a handy way to save a selection of field. Remember, a query only points to data, it does not store data. When you save a query, you are not saving a copy of a data. We will present another example with a SUM function and additional criteria. Let's open our script editor and write some code. The SUM function will sum everything in the price field of SELECT statement table where these two conditions are met. First condition is choice, it's equal to 1. And with AND, we add another condition that needs to be met. Price is smaller or equal to 100. The result is 34. Amazing! We will use a SELECT statement if there is no relation between the tables. Also, please use select statement only if really necessary and try to avoid those in function fields that you show in a table view. 
If a select statement it's necessary in cases where you cannot use relation references, please use the WHERE and not the square brackets for conditions. We cannot emphasize enough the importance of the usage of the WHERE condition with a SELECT statement. SELECT statement with square brackets can slow down the performance a lot. So, remember to always use WHERE with SELECT. Why? Given the amount of data that needs to be proceed and the related processing time, the performance, we always recommend using WHERE since it's faster. Okay, so when do we use square brackets then? We have created a subtable called table1 and we add some data here. So we have product, price and status. So let us use also some function, but this time with the square brackets. So there is a reference connection between select statement and table one. So we do not need to use select. So our sum function, we need to define first a table. Then for the condition, we will open a square brackets and we will put our status to be equal to one. And also, of course, We want to sum the price. Fifteen. So let's check. We were summing status one, what was a drink, beer twelve, and milk three. Amazing. Great. Now we know how to avoid using SELECT in the places where it's not necessary, and that is a reference table. In this tutorial, you have learned about the power of the SELECT statement. Now you know how to retrieve data from your tables, and even more important, you know how to retrieve data that meet a criteria you need. You also know how to apply criteria with the SELECT query with WHERE and how to retrieve data from a reference table with the square brackets. Congrats! Ninox.